independent monetary is going to recognize the relative ability for each product to generate a profit. focus on two because one that's kind of a mix of the other two. Two ways of doing this. Sales value at split off and then what we call
Actually, be light beer. It takes an additional $120,000 in cost. But we, we add those costs, we can sell it for $400,000. The dark takes an additional $80,000 to make a dark beer. But then we can sell it for six hundred thousand. It's a, nothing really to do here. Maybe we sit out in the sun, but that doesn't cost us anything, and it's still two hundred thousand.
the 400,000. Take the processing cost, these additional processing costs of 120, and we get our approximate, our estimated. We take the 400 minus, so we can eventually get this, but it's going to take this to get there. So that means beforehand, it must have been worth 280. The idea is if we put this into it to get here, the value before must have been what we get to, less the cost. And that's just approximate net realizable value. Being, being that there is no market for it at this point, but we know that our additional costs are 120000 and we know that we'll be able to sell it for 400000 then it must have been worth this at the point of split off. We'll eventually make 600 on it. We had to put 80,000 into it to get it there. So before we put the 80,000 into it, it must have been worth 520. In pure simple, 200 before. Putting zero into it, it's going to be 200 at the split off point. So if we have a ready available market at the split off point, we can just go ahead and use sales value at the split off point. We know it's value. But like here, we know it's really going to buy it before it's actually processed to the true stage of beer that you drink. All that we can do is backtrack into its value at the split off point. Then we can allocate cost based on that value. Total approximating net realizable value, adding up the three, it's one million dollars. 280 divided by one million, 28%. Calculations are fairly easy because it's a million, you just knock off the zeros. That'll be 52%. That'll be 20%. Okay. Um, so now multiply by the 450. Allocate 126,000 to the light beer, 234 to the dark, and 90 to the end care byproduct. So we've got three methods that's easily used to allocate joint costs. All we're going to allocate is the joint cost. We don't allocate any additional processing after the split off point. Those are directly traceable to the product. Physical quantities method, we don't know what the sales value is going to be at all. The sales price goes up and down daily. We can't, you know, figure this amount out even. So the best we can do is use something we can measure like gallons or pounds, something along those lines, and allocate based on physically what our output is and allocate the cost based on that. Other option, well, if we can readily sell the products at their split off point, well, what's their value at the split-off point? 
allocate costs based on what we can actually sell them for at the split off point. Thirdly, if we don't have a value at the split off point for any of our products, you know, in this case, if two of them did and one didn't, still wouldn't be able to, you know, use just the sales value method. We have to approximate that value at that point. And the only way we have for knowing the approximated value here is figuring out what the final sales value will be, plus what it takes to get there. And then, allocate based on that. The actual allocation part, not really, you know, too difficult compared to some of our other overhead allocation methods. So, you just have to figure out the proportion of which method you're using. <coughs> Other issues we had to consider with uh, process costing. I told you back in Chapter 10 that there was a decision-making idea here. Well, that goes along with, let's say that we actually could, for some strange, freaky reason, sell the light beer at the split-off point For two hundred thousand. Our decision would be sell at split off point or process farther. The key thing with this decision. All of this, we will ignore joint costs in total and allocated. They have no relevance on this decision because whatever you allocate, or the total cost, for that's the same if we sell it. At this point, for 200,000, our food sell it at this point for 400,000. What differs? Additional cost and what additional you can get out of it. So here, I can make 200,000. If by adding 120,000, I get 400, My profit will be 280. When deciding between selling it split off point versus processing it further, the whole thing is based on do I make enough to cover those additional costs? Yes, if it exactly came out to be both 200,000, yes, it's whatever you feel like doing, I guess. But as long as you make more, you cover your cost, plus if you come in more than 200000 you go ahead and process it further. If, for instance, our, yeah. let's say the cost of additional cost for 220 
to what we get out of that process. Eventually, we'll have the split off point. When we have the multiple products, up to this point, we have some sort of process that they share. You see this in oil, you see this in timber. a variety of things. If you just, especially if you're doing case six, it's talking about this. I think you got a peach orchard. They grow the peaches. Do you want to cause? Taking care of the trees and you get that peach. What can you make out of those peaches? Those are going to be your joint products. And part of the question is coming up with five other companies. Um, yeah, the internet search might not go well, but if you just sit down in your house and look at the products in your house, how did that come to be? Well, okay, let's, you know, well, that is related to this. And at some point, they were together. So, Timber's a good one to think about there. Um, things you can make out of potatoes. Just spend a couple minutes thinking, you'll come up with stuff. Make sure I cover Um, Oh, and one other thing that might come in handy for the exam, uh, it's the, all of this is based on the value of what you produce, not on what you actually sell. So, uh, if in this case, you know, we had 15,000 gallons of light,